Hi, and welcome to another edition of the Digital Arts Show, um, the Digital Arts Podcast or radio show or video, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. Um, but it's the Digital Arts Show. I'm Jim Suriani, your host. And this show is part of the Digital Arts Festival that is produced by Center Stage Theater of Santa Barbara, California. The Digital Arts Festival shows stream every night uh, at 7 p.m. and they will continue now through April 30th. And you can find out more about all of the uh, people that we've been interviewing. Um, we started on April 6th. And I think this is uh, my eighth or ninth or tenth uh, interview today. I can't, I've lost track. <laughs> um, but they, they do stream every night on the Center Stage blog. And you can find out more on the Center Stage website, which is centerstagetheater.org. And you just click on the blog tab up in the uh, upper right there along the, all the tabs there. Just click on blog on the website and it'll take you right to the uh, Digital Arts Festival blog. And uh, you can check out all the past interviews and see who's up for tonight, for today. All their information will be up there as well. And the purpose of the Digital Arts Festival is to create an outlet for artists of all kinds to share their work. And we will have uh, members from dance, theater, music, film, visual arts, poetry, storytelling, writing, and much, much more. And again, to learn more, you can go to the Center Stage website, centerstagetheater.org, and click on the blog tab. And our guest today is writer and poet, Laura Little. Laura was born and raised in Goleta, California. Uh, she is a preschool teacher who dabbles in creativity, including singing karaoke, which I love. I love to sing karaoke, it's a lot of fun. Uh, writing poetry and short stories. Laura also likes to attend a paint class at her church. She has two pet birds and a huge love for dogs and cats. By the way, Laura also has a, a dog walking service that she does as well. And she's been doing for, I believe, a, about 10 years or more. And um, also, uh, she, is, um, she has a lot of hobbies, which include uh, nature photography, bowling, and swimming for sport. She's attended Santa Barbara City College and Antioch University in Santa Barbara. And she currently resides in Carpinteria, California. And welcome to the show, Laura Little. It's so great to have you on today. Good morning. Thank you. How, Good how to are be you, here. How are you doing in this time of quarantine? Are you um, able to uh, survive? <laughs> yeah, um, still working and I've had some time off too, so I was able to do some more writing. Nice. Very nice. And I, I read a little bit of your poetry and your short stories. Uh, uh, they're very interesting. I, I love your writing style. Thank you. I, it's very free flow. And um, I also enjoy poetry a lot. Yes. So tell us about your creative process. How do, what do you go through when you write either a short story or a poem? Uh, tell us about that process. Well, lots of times I am inspired by nature or I go on a walk and then I get a lot of ideas. And then I come back and I'll write some or I'll stop in nature and write some ideas. And lots of times it's like a free flow um, of, of consciousness. And then I will take a break from it, come back to it. And um, then I will uh, edit it sometimes because if I edit it too soon, I'm too attached to it <laughs> before I want to edit it. So. Yeah, I, I've done that too. Um, whenever I've written for... Um various um, outlets I've uh, I do the same thing I, I set it aside for a little while and come back to it you know maybe half an hour hour later and take a look and see um, what I like or don't like and a lot of times I'm like what was I trying to say here <laughs> um, so what yeah, is I've your... been told yeah yeah so what yeah. is your favorite genre of writing and, and why um, because it comes easier to me would be poetry and it's more free form so I don't have to worry about as much the grammar and the uh, punctuations and prepositions and things that are harder for me to um, think about. But um, I enjoy poetry more because it's more natural for me. More, more of a natural flow with, with poetry. Yeah. Yeah. It's my and, favorite. And um, do you have, um, are there certain types of writers or poets that um, are your mentors or that you kind of, that inspire you? 
Yes, um, I like Mary Oliver. Um, I like uh, Robert Frost from a younger age, um, Robert Service. And um, I also like Jack London, the book of uh, The Call of the Wild. Not yes. poetry, but I also like that. That, that style of writing. Yeah. Now, what are your goals for writing? Um, well, I want to learn to be able to share more openly with my, my feelings and find my true uh, center when I write. And my goal would be just to keep writing daily and have that process come through me um, and help me to, when I look back at it, to reflect on where I've been and also it's just a really good outlet for me. And so I want to continue practicing daily. Practicing daily. Nice. Nice. Um, what is your uh, spiritual connection uh, that you had sometimes in your writing? Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Well, sometimes I'll write and especially when it's about nature or um, something that I'm really close to in my heart. And then when I get to the end of it, all of a sudden I'll find myself thanking the process of writing and I'll maybe um, thank God for that, that creative energy that went through me. And um, sometimes I'll connect it to verses in the Bible. If I'm really ambitious, I will read through my short story and find a, uh, a verse that I like that relates to what I was going through. Nice. And what, what's motivated you to want to share your writing, especially at this time? Well, um, in one of my stories that I, I will be sharing, it shows a little bit of a, depression that I've gone through in the past and I want to be able to be open about that and share that those are isolating times sometimes for people and because we're going through the pandemic and the COVID-19 time uh, I want to be able to show people that may be going through some mental health issues that they can find hope in this time as well. Nice and um, are you finding any inspiration during this time of quarantine um, do you think that you might write about this experience after the fact, or are you finding that you want to write about it now? What has that been like for you? Um, I sometimes write about it now, but it just depends on what comes to me. I think I'll reflect on it more as it, as it's needed um, in the future, but it, it's helping me dabble more and, and look more into reading and look more into reflecting on myself and my experiences. So it's really helped me have the time to do that. And what are some of the themes of your writing and of your poetry? Well, definitely nature and anything that's really true to my heart or passions that I'm interested in. Um, once I went on a trip to Alaska with a good friend, and that has really touched my writing when I was in Alaska. Like, the river flowing next to me was inspiring. And um, I also like writing about short stories sometimes that are just have a true experience that I've been through. Uh, what have been some of your, some recent experiences that you've written about? Uh, that's a good question. Um, I've written about just going on a walk and finding the birds and the nature and um, the ocean. And I've reflected upon in the sharing time about my uh, writings in the past, like when I went to Alaska. But more recently, I've it's more reflection. I don't know. <laughs> Now, um, do you think you'll ever explore other types of writing, like, say, um, you know, either writing plays or, or screenplays or perhaps, um, you know, other genres that you might want to explore in the future? Uh, yes, I would love to do playwriting. Um, sometimes I'll take, you know, experiences I've been through and I'll um, put names, different names to who the experiences I had with. And then I can write that's true to my heart but also um, something that's fiction, but um, based on experience. So I would love to write plays, but I'm not sure I'm as comfortable with that. I have to more more mentoring with that. And, and then maybe explore that, you know, in, in a little bit more detail, perhaps, or? Yes. Yes, yes. And then um, what are you looking forward to most after the quarantine is lifted? Um, like you said, I enjoy karaoke, so it'd be nice to do karaoke in person. Um, <laughs> have you, uh, now, have you done good. karaoke on Zoom or, you know, virtually? Yes. Have you done karaoke? Yes, I tried one. It was really fun. Buffy uh, Courage has a, a karaoke, and I tried one on Friday night. It was interesting. Was it? Yeah. Did, now, did you sing by yourself or with another person? 
I did a duet, and then I also did uh, by myself. Nice, nice. And, and you're going to say um, also during the once the quarantine is lifted, you'd like to do karaoke and and some other activities. Yes, I also am on a bowling league, so I'd like to go back to bowling again and seeing family and giving hugs to people that I haven't been able to in a while. I know, yeah. I think I think we all want to do that. It's, you know, just being able to do a fist bump or a handshake or a hug, you know, for somebody yes. you haven't seen in a long time would be would be nice. And um, yes, it would. Yes. Now, have do do you think you would ever explore the possibility of writing a novel? Um, yes, I think I would, but it would probably be um, in the genre or the field of um, young adult fiction, because that's where I generally like to read is uh, young adult uh, juvenile fiction, um, so, or shorts, or children's stories. I might want to do some illustrations and children's stories. Yes, now I understand you're a preschool teacher. Is yes, that right? Yes, I am. Now, yes. are, how is that um, going? Is Because everyone's in quarantine, do you do you teach preschool virtually or, or is it just not happening right now? Well, there are a lot of schools that are doing virtual and we're offering um, resources to the families that are staying home, but we do have some essential workers that are still bringing their children to work and we have very small numbers and ratios and we're following strict protocol. Um, and we're gonna be starting to wear masks and smocks this week. Oh, wow. And what's the name of the yeah. preschool where you, where you work? Hope for Kids Early Learning Center. Nice. Nice. And if, so if you were to write a children's book, um, do you have an idea for, you know, what it would be about? Or do you have like a character that you'd want to create? Or I'd want to have animals included as the characters. And I'd want to have something where they're dealing with feelings and emotions and how to handle them with other children and with, uh, well, other animals that would be in the story. <laughs> sure, sure. Oh, that'd be cute. That sounds like it would yeah. be really cute. Well, um, Laura, I just want to, I want to thank you for joining us today. This has been delightful. It's great to get to know you. And um, oh, before we forget, is there any, um, are there websites that we can put out or social media handles that we can give out? I don't have that at the moment, but I do have some links that hopefully the public can see on the writing. Oh, and I think the links will probably be on the um, Center Stage blog. Perfect. along with along with the interviews so that um, people can take a look at that and um, so yes if you'd like to learn more about Laura her links will be on the uh, center stage blog and just go to centerstagetheater.org that's centerstagetheater.org and just click on the blog tab on that website it'll take you to the blog and um, and then you also click on uh, digital arts festival and you'll see uh, Laura's information there as well as all the past interviews all on the blog as well. Again, that's centerstagetheater.org. Click on blog. And if you'd like to learn more about what I'm up to, you can find me on Facebook and Instagram at Jim on the Air. That's Jim on the Air on Facebook and Instagram. And then for some reason, it has to be different on Twitter. <laughs> I might change it though. On Twitter, it's Jim on the Radio. Thank you so much for joining us. And Laura, good luck with the writing and poetry. And thanks for joining us. Thank you so much. It's been my pleasure. And again, uh, thank you for watching and we'll catch you next time. Bye-bye, everybody.